Hi, my name is Shalata Sawandini from 2C English for Business Communication and Professional. I made this video to complete my midterm test for the English for Business Communication course with Dr. Hikmanur Agustina SSMS I M Ham as director. So I will describe crap about unemployment rate in Indonesia. I choose this issue because I think knowing the number of employment rates in Indonesia is an important thing for students. By knowing the data, it is hope that all students can improve their skills to be better prepared to compete in the workplace. So today, I will describe the unemployment rate from 1999 to 2022. This data I found from wstatista.com and this graph has vertical axis and horizontal axis. The vertical axis shows unemployment rate and the horizontal axis represents about the year. And the blue line is the data. And the in 1999, as much as 6.3% of Indonesia's population was unemployed, but in 2000, the graph went down to 6.08%, and the number stayed until 2001. Unfortunately, in 2002, the number of unemployment in Indonesia rapidly increased to 6.6%. In the following year, until 2005, the number of unemployment in Indonesia went up to 7.95%. In the following year, 2006, the graph decreased to 7.55%, and in 2007, the graph rose to 8.06% of Indonesians are unemployed. That year was most terrible year for Indonesian's population because the number of unemployed was very high. But bad luck also seemed to stop in that years because the following year, the number of unemployment in Indonesia plummeted. Starting from 2008, fell to 7.21%. In 2009, the graph went down again to 6.11% and kept dipping to 5 0.61% in 2010, 5.15% in 2011, the graph continues to decline to 4.47% and in the following year constantly fell until it reached 4.05% in 2014. It is a shame that in 2015 the numbers rose again to 4.51%. But in 2017, the numbers rapidly fell to 3.78%. In 2018, there was a surge to 4.39%. And in the following year, the graph dropped to 3.6%. In 2020, the graph rose again to 4.25%. In 2021, go down to 3.83% and the decline will continue until 2022 to 3.55% of the number of unemployed in Indonesia. Although the recently crop is fall, it is very important for students to hone and improve their skills that are useful in the workplace. As report, by Satista.com, the grab of youth unemployment in Indonesia has a high average grab. In 2003, as much as 21.5% of young people in Indonesia was unemployed. The grab rose in 2004, it became 23.66%. The grab continues to go up and in 2005, as much as 2638 Person, young people in Indonesia were unemployed. The graph goes down starting 2006, it becomes 24.71%. In 2007, it becomes 22.92%. Then, rapidly drops in 2008, become 19.7%. 19.18% in 2007, and sustained Decline until 2010 at 17.75%. The graph goes up again to 16.07% in 2010. 
and in 2015 only decreased by 0.2% from 2014. The drop rose quickly to 17.27% in 2015 and dropped again by 1.2% in 2016. The decline in the crop continued in 2016 to 14.57% and the crop rose again to 16.41%. In 2019, the number of youth unemployment in Indonesia dropped significantly to 13.59%. In 2020, the crop grew again to 14.77%, going down to 13.82% in 2021, and the last year as much as 13.02% young people in Indonesia were unemployed. Looking at the crap, many young people in Indonesia are unemployed. Even with today's increasingly sophisticated technology, getting a job should no longer be a difficult problem if we as young people have sufficient skills. There are many jobs vacancies that can be accessed anytime and anywhere. And of course, we can apply for these job vacancies anytime and anywhere. There is a job vacancies sites that are widely used in Indonesia's jobs, job seekers. In first place, the job vacancy sites that is widely used by Indonesian citizens is Job Street, with a percentage of 82% of job seekers in Indonesia using this site. Then, in the second place is LinkedIn. As many as 61% Indonesians look for work on this time. Then, there is a job.it, used by 33 of job seekers in Indonesia. Career.com is the next which has 29% of job seekers in Indonesia accessing this site. The clean sites, the clean sites, has 25% of users looking for work in Indonesia using this site. The next is Calibur with a percentage of 16% and JobsDB with 15%. 4% of job seekers in Indonesia access the career pad site and another 4% access job planet sites. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Apologize for every mistake. Goodbye.